Hi friends, here is the market report. It is mid-November and this is the latest stats. So if you're looking for current information on what's going on in Southwest Florida, know that we always do our numbers usually about seven to 10 days into the following month. So what you're seeing is the latest snapshot on what happened in the last 30 days. So as far as short sales and foreclosures, we had absolutely none listed active at this time. We did have a small little act, a bit of activity in foreclosures, um, I, probably equates to one sale. So we are 99.48% totally, totally equity driven real estate. As far as how our past sales are going, the uh, sales are down from last year, but they're still elevated. You'll see those 275 units at closed sale. Obviously, over the next coming weeks, you know, things will trickle in and there'll be even higher sales. And keep in mind that if there are any uh, developer properties that closed sale that didn't go through the MLS, these are not counted in the units sold. So any new construction that's happening in South Lee County, um, even if they've sold it um, and closed it, it may have not actually been counted as an MLS sale. As far as how they're paying for it, looks like we're about 61% cash transactions, 36% conventional. Keep in mind that there are people who are writing contracts for cash because they do have the cash to close. However, they do get financing in the interim and close with a conventional loan. As far as what price range is selling, it's it's a little bit broad this month. I mean, you know, the yellow and the green is the 200 and under range. And that's still our largest amount, but we see a widening in that six to 800. Uh, that's almost 18% of our sales. And the four to 600 is about 27% of our sales. Long story short is anything 800 and under is on fire. We are seeing uh, low inventory across the board. Um, things are coming to the market quickly. Things are selling quickly and greedy sellers that are just pricing at wild, crazy numbers aren't selling. So, you know, some folks will look at a property that does come onto market and wonder why it's been on the market 30, 60, 90 days. And a lot of times it's just because it was, let's say, mispriced. And buyers would love to have a piece of property in Florida, but they're not willing to pay next year's prices. So... Keep that in mind if you are out there getting ready to list your property. There are some great marketing techniques we are using to get you top dollar to let the buyers determine what they're willing to pay so that you can make the most possible money without being long on the market and then having somebody think that there's something wrong with the property and it becomes stigmatized and sell for lower than what a buyer would have paid for it right out of the gate. So call me. I'd love to go over some of those things with you. Going forward, we have a few things that are happening. We are now scheduling appointments for buyers coming to town. So if you're coming in November, December, or January, we do have a link for you to click so that you can schedule a phone conference. We can get you set up with a proper search. So we can maybe get you a little bit further into the funnel of what fits your budget, what fits your lifestyle, and what fits your long-term holding costs for property that you're willing to purchase. You know, some of these homes and condos come with really expensive golf membership fees. And if you are not a golfer, we just love to filter those right out of your search. Um, I know that that would probably be valuable for you uh, just because you don't want to get your hopes up. And number two, you don't want to be looking at the wrong properties and get here and realize that that's just not the one that suits your wallet. Um, as far as what we're going to be doing next, we have started a snail mail market report as well. And our past clients uh, are included in that, as well as a lot of our local officials and news organizations, just simply because the housing market is moving very quickly, most especially entry level. We understand the pressure that the workforce is under. So if you would like to be included in that snail mail, all you have to do is email us uh, your mailing address. If you're a past client and you did not receive that, also email us. It may have bounced back. You may have moved and we just don't have an updated address. So we'd like to keep in touch with you. Uh, as far as this week, um, Thursday, if you are in Southwest Florida, uh, a lot of you may or maybe even not know that I wrote this book right here. It started with a helmet. It is a true story about a Naples, Florida firefighter who retired from the FDNY and found an old fire helmet in Naples, Florida, returned it to Ladder 42 in the Bronx uh, the day before 9-11 and then stayed to help with the recovery and rescue effort after that. Um, there is a book signing tomorrow in Dorona. The restaurant is called Dorona. 
It's in Naples at the corner of Golden Gate Parkway and US 41 across from Coastland Center Mall. So from 3, uh, 3 to 6 p.m. on Veterans Day, we are having a book signing and all proceeds are going to a local veterans organization. Uh, all proceeds from the book sale, we are selling the book as a discount. I'm donating the books. Um, and the restaurant is donating proceeds from Happy Hour. So we'd love to see you in person if you'd like to meet Jerry, who the book is about. And um, if you just want to pop in and say hello to me, I would appreciate that as well. If there's anything we can do for you, whether you are buying or selling in real estate, let us know. We'd love to be able to get you up to speed on the latest market reports and hopefully provide a little bit of value so you understand what is going on in your neck of the woods. Thanks so much. If we can help in any way, let us know.